U.S. Coast Guard Admiral Tad Allen joins us now from the Gulf Coast. Admiral, good morning. Good morning, Harry. How are you? I'm pretty good. I've got a bunch of sort of cleanup questions for you this morning. I want to start with the idea of building these berms. Are we or are we not relying pretty much on the judgment of the Corps of Engineers about whether or not to go ahead? And doesn't this at least seem a little bit strange because this is the same Corps that was basically responsible for flooding New Orleans? Can we rely on these guys? Well, Harry, I think I disassociate the issues of barrier islands and the uh, ability to construct these things with whatever happened in New Orleans. Uh, I've been in close contact with General Van Antwerp, head of the Corps of Engineers. Uh, the proposal from the uh, state of Louisiana was to create a series of barrier islands or berms to protect the marshlands from oil. Uh, in concept, I don't think anybody has a problem with barrier islands. And, and having been down here in the Katrina response, I understand that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think we need to understand the efficacy and the efficiency of doing this. Uh, that's the reason we thought it would be best to start with a prototype. So we've taken and the uh, projects that have been approved by the Corps of Engineers and decided to go with one and build it out as quickly as possible and see if it, it is an effective way uh, to be part of this oil spill response. Right. And do you feel like uh, Governor Jindal, at least for the time being, is satisfied with that? Well, I think the governor would like to have the whole project approved. I've uh, talked to him several times over the course of the last week or so. Uh, but I think what we need to do is understand that it's going to take six to nine months to build these islands. Uh, we don't understand the interaction of uh, oil coming ashore while they're being constructed, potentially. There's the interaction of the hurricane season. And I think we have some more environmental questions mm -hmm. to ask on the impact of maybe cutting off the flow to the marsh areas. Uh, not, not, not an easy question to answer, but I think we need to ask all those and answer them. I got a lot of uh, questions that aren't so easy to answer. <laughs> <laughs> One of the ones that was asked of the president yesterday is this idea that was floated by the former CEO of Shell and others to bring some tankers out there, big tankers, do some skimming, get this oil, at least the, a lot of this oil off the top of the water, which has been proven successful in other places in the world. Do we know why we're not doing that? Well, you know, Harry, I've been asked that a couple times, and we're going to take a look at it, and I'll actually issue a public statement because I think we need to take a position on it. But a couple things to consider. And number one, we're talking about a fairly confined area here in regard to uh, how we would operate large tankers. And while the Gulf of Mexico is very large, uh, where the oil is coming up is very, very uh, busy right now with all the vessels that are on top doing either drilling, uh, taking care of trying to plug the leak and so forth. Uh, I was out on the rigs uh, last week and I'd say within a mile of that point there were probably 22 vessels so I think there's an issue with freedom of movement. Mm. There may be an issue with uh, the depth of the water where the oil is at uh, but if anybody that's raising a logical question I think we need to answer. All right last but not least and very quickly what's the most important thing you want the president to see today? Well, I think he needs to see the uh, folks working on the beach with the cleanup. I think everybody kind of understands the uh, technology that's involved in the subsea uh, attempt to stop the leak. Uh, but the really manpower intensive area is trying to keep the oil off the beaches. And when it comes ashore, I think it's a real, real uh, tough challenge, especially in the remote areas where we have marshlands involved. And you can't always get there uh, easily. And the surveillance is difficult. But uh, he'll have a chance to look at that firsthand. Admiral, thanks very much for your time today and good luck. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.